my name is Julia Stumpf and I'm a librarian at IU School of Medicine's Ruth Lilly Medical Library. This is the fourth video in the EBM Topics Risk Series. In this video, we discuss determining risk in a therapy study. The learning objectives for this video are locate the numbers in a therapy study needed to calculate risk, plug those numbers into a two by two table, calculate risk for placebo control, control event rate, and risk for treatment, experimental event rate. Let's look at a therapy study. This quote is from an article in the New York Times, November 2008, and was based on findings in the Jupiter study. The New York Times article outlined the results of an article published in the New York New England Journal of Medicine. Please note that in the highlighted portion, the New York Times article asserts that taking statins was found to cut the risk of heart attack by more than half. Now let's look at the numbers in the Jupiter study, specifically the outcomes table. As you see, the study looked at many outcomes. However, the New York Times article quote focused on heart attack reduction, so we will only look at that outcome. If you look at the numbers generated in the study, you see that 31 of the patients who received the statin treatment experienced a myocardial infarction. So in the two by two table, 31 goes into the treatment yes, outcome yes square. If 8,901 patients received the statin and 31 of them had a myocardial infarction, how many patients did not have a myocardial infarction? You are correct if you answered 8,870. These are the people who received the statin treatment but did not have the outcome of interest. 8,901 minus 31 equals 8,870. That number goes into the treatment yes, outcome no square. Okay, so let's look at the people who did not receive the statin treatment. 68 people who were given a placebo experienced a myocardial infarction. So in the two by two table, 68 goes into the treatment no, outcome yes, square. If 8,901 patients were given a placebo, how many patients did not receive the treatment and did not experience the outcome, myocardial infarction? You are correct if you answered 8,833 patients. Again, you get that answer by subtracting 68 from the total who received the placebo, 8,901, to get 8,833. We need to calculate the risk of heart attack for the people taking the statin and the risk of heart attack for the people taking the placebo. The risk for the people taking the statin is known as the experimental event rate or EER. The risk for people taking the placebo is known as the control event rate or CER. Take a few moments to recall how to calculate absolute risk. It is the number of times an event happens divided by the number of possible times an event could happen. So in this study, the experimental event rate or EER is the number of people who receive the statin and experience the outcome of interest divided by the total number of people receiving the statin. And the control event rate, or CER, is the number of people who receive the placebo and experience the outcome of interest, divided by the total number of people receiving the placebo. So using our numbers in the two by two table, stop the video and figure out the EER and the CER. Let's see how you did. The risk for the people taking the statin, or the EER, would be 31 divided by 31 plus 8,870, which equals 0 0.003, or 0.3%. And the risk for the people taking the placebo, or the CER, would be 68 divided by 68 plus 8,833, which equals 0 0.008 or 0.8 percent. Remember in therapy studies it is necessary to determine the risk without treatment and the risk with treatment. 
To do that, complete a two-by-two two table using numbers of the outcome of interest and total patients found in the reported outcomes of a study. Using the two-by-two two table, calculate the control event rate, risk without treatment, and the experimental event rate, risk with treatment. Thank you for watching this short video on determining risk in a therapy study. Questions? Feel free to contact us at the Ruth Lilly Medical Library. Be sure to also check out our other videos and tutorials available through the library website.